CataractCoach.com, Cataract Quiz, why is this so adherent? And that capsule rex edge is moving too. Let's look at this case. It's a totally normal, routine case. Everything went fine. We've already taken out the nucleus, did our phaco chop technique, and now we're taking out the lens cortex, which is coming out pretty easily. Really no issues at all. And we'll clean up the capsule bag very nicely. You can see there's a little bit of a deep set eye. We get some water pooling there. Now there's those strong linear white reflections there to the left of the cornea, but that's not a big deal. Incision was great. Everything seemed fine during the case. That's a nice looking capsorexis. Capsor bag's pretty clean. Let's fill the capsor bag here with our cohesive viscoelastic. So injecting that in the capsor bag, we're gonna go ahead and clean up that undersurface of the anterior capsule rim to polish that for that little lens epithelial cell matter. But let's first put the lens in the capsule bag. So let's fixate the eye. Here comes the lens, delivering it right in the capsule bag. And the lens is loaded beautifully. Good job by the technician. We'll make sure the entire lens goes in the capsule bag behind that anterior capsule rim. Let's rotate the lens a little bit and we'll get those haptics to unfold. And that looks darn good. So time to go behind the lens to remove viscoelastic. Remember, we ideally want the posterior aspect of the IOL optic to touch the posterior capsule. Little tiny lens piece there, that's being removed very easily. Once this viscoelastic's out, we can go in front of the optic, clean up any residual lens material. There's a little bit of cortex there, I think, near that air bubble. Okay, that's been removed. Now let's polish up the capsular rim and watch carefully here polishing up this capsular rim and tell me what you see so nice centration so let's clean up some of that good good polishing that up and then go to the other side that looks pretty good now here comes the important part watch carefully I go to this side and we're cleaning that up and whoa what is that what is that that's grabbing the capsule well, that's why it's so ad adherent. That's the capsule. Leave it alone. And notice how we caught that very early. And we just reflux on the pedal. And that'll reverse the peristaltic pump and release that vacuum. So if you kept pulling on that, you'd absolutely break zonular attachments. You could damage the capsule. But luckily in this case, we were able to be very careful. And oh, look what we found here with that angle sweep. This is why I recommend the angle sweep at the end of every case. Because you may inadvertently trap little pieces like that in the angle of the eye in that viscoelastic. And now you can see the overlap of the optic by that rexus. That's like a really good looking capsorexis. Lens is in good position. A little bit more angle sweeping here. So there's really no issues now. So yeah, we did inadvertently grab the capsule. And that was with the IA probe as we were trying to polish the undersurface of the capsule rim. And so there's a balance. Remember, first do no harm. If you're a novice surgeon or beginning in your career, you don't necessarily have to go and polish the underservice of the capsule room for every case. It's really not that big of a deal. If you're doing more of a perfectionist mindset like we are later in our careers, as we've gotten past the learning curve, yeah, then we want to make it as perfect as possible. So this case went great. Patient has a nice outcome. Just keep that in mind. Remember what that looked like when you're inadvertently grabbing the capsule and be very careful. I know you love the YouTube videos, but check out the website, cataractcoach.com. A lot easier to navigate. We have a complete list of articles and videos. You can go and check on any of these categories and explore more. You can also search. There's a search engine that's really effective. You can see Gore-Tex lenses like this. And finally, you can look up about me. There's a link that has my surgical instruments. Now you don't even have to ask me. You can just find out for yourself. What's the name of those forceps?